Apple released iOS 15 developer beta 2 and there is a lot more to talk about. Let's find out what's new in iOS 15 beta 2. Hello all, I am Nikhil from iGeeks blog and today in this video, we will look into a new things and updates in iOS 15 beta 2. But before that, I would like to request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Now, if you have done that, Let's get into the video. Along with iOS 15, Apple released the developer beta 2 versions for iPadOS 15, watchOS 8 and tvOS 15. The update size of iOS 15 beta 2 is approximately 1.5GB and the build number is 19A5281H. Along with the software update, modem firmware is also updated. So the connectivity issue with Wi-Fi and mobile network will get resolved in this new update. I hope you remember the SharePlay feature that Apple announced at WWDC 2021. However, this was not available in the first beta version. But now, with beta 2, this SharePlay feature is available on the FaceTime calls. Exciting, right? Now we can share music and videos while we are on FaceTime call. Open music app and you will notice a pop-up displaying an option to SharePlay. Now everyone who is with me on this call can listen to the track that I am playing. You can also access other features of SharePlay like start or stop sharing, ask next time or you can share your screen right from the FaceTime call banner. And that's SharePlay. Amazing, right? Along with that, Apple also fixed a couple of bugs in a FaceTime. A bug of a special panning in a group call is fixed. A bug for the rear camera zoom level indicator is fixed. A bug for a portrait mode in a group call is fixed. A bug for a FaceTime freezing issue is fixed. With beta 2, there is a one more job added for a Siri in notifications and that is announce notification. Now Siri will read out notification without unlocking your iPhone and that works with the second generation of AirPods and a few Beats earbuds. Not only this, if you are connected with a CarPlay, Siri will read the messages and you can reply to that messages just with your voice and send it without or with your confirmation. One more bug of a Siri is fixed in beta 2. In the first beta version, Siri was not able to do a job like set brightness. Now in beta 2, we can ask Siri to set a brightness of our iPhone. Set display brightness to 20%. We've had a problem. Please try again. Another update in the notification is for a schedule summary. The frequency option is removed and now we can add or remove notification summary with this plus and minus sign. One more option added in an app summary, now we can view the total count of summarized notification for an individual app. Also, Photos app got an update for the memories. Now we have an option to manage photos in memories which was not there in the previous version of iOS. We can just give a title to it and can pick the length of the memory video to short or medium. But that got an update too. Now we can create a long form of memory videos. Now let's talk about some creative part and that's Memoji. So if you get into the Memoji section, tap on edit. Now we have an option for clothing. There are plenty of outfit options available to choose from and we can decorate our Memoji. These are really cool, right? The next change, like a big change, not a big but a small change in Apple Maps. Let's talk about the two updates in Apple Maps. The icon of the map application is changed. Another change in Apple Maps is about the thumbnail of the map view. They are slightly changed in this new update. As I said, it is not a big difference, but I noticed that. Along with the Apple's native map application, one more native app like Safari got an update in a beta too. We all know Apple completely redesigned Safari, but it was buggy. Sometimes keyboard disappeared and sometimes it got crashed. Apple worked on that issues and fixed that bugs in iOS 15 beta 2. Along with this, a new option is added and that is add to quick note. As of now, nothing is happening when we add URL to quick note because I need to create a quick note first on my iPad and then I can only do this action. However, creating a quick note function in the first beta version of iPad OS was not available, but in beta 2, it's there and now we can create a quick note. In iOS 15 beta 2, Apple Music app also got an update. Now in playlist, we have an option to move a song to the top. Simply just tap on this option and it will move that track to the first place in the playlist. And the last update I notice in this iOS 15 developer beta 2 is in the weather app widgets. Weather app widget got a design upgrade. 
bars are added to forecast the temperature for individual days. These are the notable changes I have noticed in iOS 15 beta 2. If I missed and you know that change, please share them in the comments down below. And also stay tuned with us and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm keeping an eye on everything Apple and creating a content around it. So you guys won't miss any update from us. Allow me to say goodbye. I'm Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay connected.